here it goes. First uh, print uh, using the new compact extruder with the two engineers 50 to 1 motor. Got a 50 to 1 uh, ratio gearbox in the middle box there and uh, it's turning a raptor gear which uh, has a little groove in it and uh, pushes the filament down very well and seems to uh, hold it really well. Uh, right now it's doing the first layer of a little end stop and uh, I don't have the fan running because it's just the first layer so I think it'll probably start up on the second layer but uh, yeah uh, it took a long time to get just the right uh, settings for this extruder because I kept getting the path off for the uh, for the weird gear that I'm using which is it's called a Raptor and it's got like a ten and a half millimeter diameter uh, groove in it, even though it's like an 11 and a half or 12 millimeter diameter uh, gear to start with. But the uh, the grooves actually are nice. They're cut in such a way that it really pushes the filament down. Uh, and if you go pushing it down, it actually lets it through a little bit. So it's kind of neat. It's got these. So I guess that's why it's called a raptor. It's got these teeth. But uh, yeah, I just built this piece here which on the bottom you can see holding it in which is a typical thing for me uh, a little thing to hold the hot end in and a mount for the extruder and that holds it onto the inverted TX carriage which is kind of the way I've been preferring it because it gives me more vertical space you can see the nozzle is right at the bottom of the bottom uh, just below the, the bottom of the X carriage so it gives very little clearance um, but I think that's pretty good for that way of getting the maximum clearance. So with this setup, I should have a, a really good height. Uh, right now I'm thinking a Y end stop. Yeah, I can see the back that I can see straight down there. Uh, when I first built it, it wasn't so good. Uh, it was a little bit too uh, flimsy and not couldn't wrap around it. Uh, the free rod as it should, so I'm thinking another one that hopefully would be better. Get it all printed because I'm almost out of filament. <laughs> this is the last of it after uh, so many attempts at printing this piece. Uh, I, I really uh, did not only that, but also the bottom parts as well because each time I had to print one, I figured I should print the others. Uh, but I should have just printed the, this piece, the extruder itself, the block, and then. Just tested that. Um, it did well. It's got uh, you know the uh, typical 608 bearing and four uh, bolts to hold it in. And, uh, Shouldn't need any cooling. Yeah, it's pretty warm, uh, but uh, very quiet. The, the carriage is much lighter. It's a little more top heavy, maybe. Well, maybe not so much heavy. But uh, yeah, I think it's going to end up being a little. It's going to do a lot for uh, cleaner printing than the uh, the old extruder. Here somewhere. Oh, there it is, right there. Yeah, the old extruder, big, heavy NEMA 17. Uh, it's just very, very over overkill, really. Uh, this other one's going to do much better. So, very excited about that. Uh, so, here you go, brand new extruder, running, working. Printing. Unbelievable. Alright. Uh, much more like a Prusa I3 is supposed to be, a little bit lighter. Uh,